I am with Serena fucking Kerrigan, everybody. We are actually gonna get ready for a first date and I wanna ask Serena all her first date tips and her hacks on how to get ready. Let's dive in. Before a first date, I always love to stuff my face with cupcakes. Pre-date fuel. Okay, oh, you cool. pre-date with alcohol? Oh yes, that's true. Pop some champagne. 100%. You can do the honors. I actually typically show up to my dates fully sober. Do you? I don't think you okay, need to so be I drunk. definitely show up a little bit drunk. If he loves you when you're blackout, it's a win-win, baby. I have ruined so many freaking dates by getting too drunk. Okay. So here's hack number one. Okay. Two drinks and leave. Like legitimately, you Wait, gotta cap it at two drinks. The whole date? Yes, two okay. drinks and leave. This is, we're talking about first date hacks. I'm not getting into the second or third diet category. I'm a expert, I'm not a, I'm not a relationship expert. I'm not even a dating expert, but I'm a fucking first date I expert. love that. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't do that on a first date. So are you saying two date, two drinks? Two drinks and ditch. And That's then hack number is one. this number three though, technically? Or am I allowed to, like if I go on the date and if oh. I drink this beforehand, mm -hmm. is that okay? Sure. I'm the type of gal that needs about two drinks before I go on a date. And no, okay, you don't. Here's the thing. No, you don't. It's not even that I'm socially but awkward. On that note. <laughs> but on that note, cheers. cheers. I just feel like I'm a little bit more confident walking into the date with a drink of me. So I'm amazing. So let me. Ooh. This is hack number two. Like, you literally led me <laughs> hack number two. <laughs> Instead of alcohol, <laughs> although it is delicious, and it's true, it really does sometimes loosen you. I think it's important, and the reason why I love going on first dates is because I think we need to rebrand the first date. I think we've like made it up to be this like really scary, daunting yeah. thing of like, and I think a lot of it had to do with the pandemic, that people are like, blah, blah, how do we talk, how do we yeah. do this? I think you gotta do this. It's leg legitimately a conversation. I think that we've just made it feel like a job interview, and the job is like to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I completely agree. And like, it does not need to be like that. I also will say, I think how you walk into the date is so important mm -hmm. and like the first thing you say right it's the nerves that we get right before we the, walk in that, just that moment where you like haven't met them yet that's totally. the scariest part but realize you've gone your entire life without knowing this person and so if it doesn't work out who freaking cares you can either get a good drink you get laid get an orgasm yeah. god god willing i would say an orgasm on the first date is, is insane really but, impossible but it, no no it, it's possible <laughs> It, that might be the vibe. It might, might, it might not. If you're looking for something maybe more serious, maybe you don't sleep with them, but at least you get like a really great conversation or you learn something about yourself. Like you either learn that you like don't want to date a finance guy or that, you know, you want to sleep with a okay, DJ. I love that because I feel like so many people out there give like first date tips. Be yourself. You know what I mean? Which is all great. Okay, yes, no. And all those are true. But I've never heard before learn something about yourself. No, no, that's what it is. Like I think about every Amazing. relationship you've ever had, even a friendship, yeah. parent, family. Relationships teach you about yourself. They really do. So if you can rebrand the date as not this scary interview process for this like company that, that you want to interview for and get a job for, there's gonna be a takeaway here. You yeah. know what I mean? And at the end of the day, like it's 45 minutes, an hour, two hours max of your life. One drink an hour, like that's it. Every, anytime I have more than two drinks, we're talking sex. We're doing like hand job <laughs> under the table. The way to do it, and this really goes back to like why I changed my mind to fucking, was because that was a dialogue I was having with myself. Think about if you were about to go on a date tonight, yeah. what would I say to you? I'd be like, let's fucking go, bitch. You're gonna, you look amazing. I like, would be so nervous. But like, I don't know why. But no. I never went on dates. Okay, I was the type of person that never went on dates. I needed your help, obviously, well, years okay. ago. Never, of course, it's fine. But than ever. I never went on dates. I was too scared. And scared so of what? When my scared boyfriend, I have a little bit of social anxiety. Okay, that's fair. You might not know that about me, but I have social anxiety. And so when my boyfriend asked me on a date, a sit down dinner date, I bailed on him an hour and a half before. Oh my God. The next day, I drunk texted him. I was like, meet me at the bar. And he did. And that was our first date. Anyone watching this, don't do that. <laughs> Please. This is what I would have told you to do. Okay. I would have told you, and I'm telling you, we have to start normalizing this. Look at yourself in the mirror. And let's say I was going on a date tonight, which okay. I am. Hello, we're here. What would you say to me? if I was feeling nervous. Well, first up, who cares what anyone thinks? Okay. You look fucking stunning. Okay. Walk in there, shoulders back. Okay. Have a wonderful time, get a free meal out of it, and it doesn't work out. You wasted two hours of your life, move on. So then why can't you say that to yourself? That's what you have to start doing. Say it to yourself. <laughs> You're a bad bitch. <laughs> you're a bad bitch. Like, you're fucking stunning. And if he isn't literally obsessed with you, then he's not the right That's one. That's the thing. They have to be obsessed with yeah, you. Of course. And you can't doubt it. If you're doubting no. it, it's if not it. If you're confused, he it doesn't want it. it. He's Period. not it. He yeah. touched my hand. It's he like, watched my Instagram story. Oh, no, no, don't get me started with that. I think ultimately you're gonna know if someone likes you. It should be very simple, very mm. straightforward, right? Right. He liked you even though you were blacked out and you ditched the fucking mm -hmm. date. And like, oh I my didn't god, have a question like about you it. really, you really gave him a lot of reasons to not like you. And look, and look where we are now.
And speaking of a first date, you also want your hair looking nice and healthy. Did you guys know that 30 million women are impacted by thinning hair or weakening hair? And if you guys are among them, then I have the best tip for you guys. So Nutrafol is actually dermatologist recommended for getting stronger hair. Before the day, I am actually just gonna take a Nutrafol pill. You can actually take up to four pills a day and you will see the Nutrafol results in like three to six months. And why I love it so much is Nutrafol actually targets the main causes of thinning, which are hormones, stress, environment, nutrition, and metabolism. So if y'all want to try Nutrafol, again, make sure you guys are taking it four times a day for three to six months to see the best results with your hair. And if you guys know me actually, and you follow me on Instagram, you guys have known that I've struggled with my hair journey and making it stronger for a very, very long time. So for me, having Nutrafol just makes me a, feel more confident too when using it and B, helps my hair just like feel more luscious and look more luscious as well. So if you guys want to try Nutrafol, they actually have a subscription where they send it to your doorstep every month. Plus there is free shipping on every order and I am going to give you guys $15 off your first subscription if you go to Nutrafol and you type in the code, all caps, Austin AF. So make sure you guys go check it out. Once again, that is N U T R. A-F-O-L dot com code Austin AF for healthier, stronger looking hair. I want to know, obviously, your makeup go-tos. I, I can't really be tell. covered, soaked in foundation. Really? I need, like, buckets of foundation on my face. The tarantula eyelashes. Like, the like I need it all. Like, bleh. Well, here's the thing. I love this difference because I feel like you have to just show up as you. 100%. And so... 100%. If you feel most confident wearing lashes, if I feel most confident not... You do what feels right. 100%. And uh, this is the mentality you need to have on dates. Do it for the fucking plot. Okay, explain that. What do you mean? Like, do it for the Instagram? No, n no. Not do it for the gram. For, like, it's your own stories. Do it for the story. Do it for your memory. Do it for your memoir that you're going to write. I Do it for the fucking live off right. my old dating story. No. Do something that makes you feel happy. It doesn't always necessarily have to be the one, the person, yeah. the guy, the the event, the whatever. You can just, like, just do it for the plot. Go on the date. Yeah. See what happens. And if not, yeah. it's a really good fucking story. And I start, I did a live comedy tour, and it's called Do It for the plot because That's I literally rehashed all my dating stories and how they taught me something about myself. That's amazing. Okay, your blush looks also amazing oh, I brought right it. now. I need to know what blush So this use. is my favorite blush and it's the Dior uh, Backstage Rosy Glow. I want to know from you, like, what dating apps are the best and what you think about all of them. I use Hinge and Raya. It's hard because I think that they're, the pandemic really emphasized apps, right? Because right. We, how are we going to connect before with people, you know, as, as singles? So I think that that was really great, but I think that now it's like no one wants to approach each other in real life. Like, there's this, like, safety net, right. right? Of, like, guys can like you, and if you don't like them back, they don't even have to know, totally. right? So there's just that ego comes into play versus, like, going up to someone and, like, shooting your shot and, like, getting rejected, which sucks, but it's like, I like the authenticity of that. Yeah. I think that the apps, it's like there's so many options that it's almost like hard to even get physically on the date. Honestly, when you match with someone, you have to start talking right away. Right away. Or to get on the date, date right, right away. away. Right, right away. So there's our another, uh, another yeah. hack. If you are on the dating apps and you match with someone and you're talking, get on the fucking date right away. Just get there. Get your ass up and go on a date. It seems like nobody, nobody wants, wants to, to date, on a date these days. days. <laughs> okay? Get your fucking ass up. The other day, I went on a uh, hinge date with this guy. And it was like very spur of the moment. It said he was 31, but he looked okay. like he was 21 in his photos. So I was like, that's weird. Like he looked really young, but yeah. hot, but like young. We get to date and I'm fucking floored. I'm like, this motherfucker is so hot, so tall. Okay. He looks what like happened? a 31 year old. He was like, I don't update my pictures. Like, I, when am I gonna take photos of myself? And I was like, facts. So I think that's another thing. It's like, we're so judgmental. We are. It's hotter if he didn't he doesn't update try. it. If he didn't it try. Is. I it like is. it. Okay, what is your favorite type of first date? I love a first date that has not, <laughs> sounds terrible. Not a lot of effort, right? I love to go on like a coffee date. I really, really? do because it doesn't take that much time out of me. My favorite way of dating before I met my boyfriend was going on a hike. Okay, so we can't do that in New York. Okay. Where, where am I gonna hang? Like up the stairs? <laughs> like down by our state? That's so true, I didn't even think so, about that. I mean, we can go around, walk in the park. I have a couple friends that do that. I think that the New York City specifically is very drink and food driven. Okay. And I think that that's like, that is really like at the core of our social lives, which sucks because it's like, I don't want to get really fucked up on a Tuesday, yeah. which is why you do the two drinks and Dutch. Okay, you say Tuesday. So like, we're not going on these dates on a Friday or Saturday. No, okay, so that 31 year old that I went on a date with, it was on a Friday, right? Okay. Which like, I at first was like, Okay, this is cool. Like, whatever. Like, it's a yeah. pregame, yeah. if you will. So we're at this place, and we're really fucking vibing. 
Yeah. I was thought it was going so well. And then he was like, my friend like wants to meet up to go out. He's like, do you want to invite your friend? Because I was kind of talking about her. And I was like, for sure. I thought it was like, oh my God, he wants to introduce me to his friend. But it's like, no, like it, honestly, I think if he was really fucking into me, like he wouldn't have, would have invited my friends. He, yeah, like where we would have just okay, like. I think that's fun though. I think it's but, so fun to see a guy in an like outgoing setting. Correct. But when it was like a date and then it switched, then it felt like I was just some random girl. Yeah. yeah it yeah, went from yeah, like, yeah, she yeah, was yeah, buying yeah. me drinks He's taking me out to like, we're all with the friends. And I was like, okay, I'm leaving. I'm also too drunk. And also, you know what that is? It's just the vibe that you feel. Yes. I mean, something that sometimes you can't explain it. It's either like you have that connection or you don't, just, or you it, feel like he likes it, you or you don't. It's a vibe. It's a fuck yes or no. Do you have any huge red flags? Lack of eye contact, lack of Ooh. conversation, lack of asking questions. Like asking a question, just answer it about themselves. It should feel like a tennis match. You're going back and forth. Yes, and back it's not forced. Forth. You're not pulling fucking no. teeth here. It needs to just flow. Yeah. I don't really think I actively look out for red flags, but I just do you like pay attention? Like, are they close with their parents or their family? Right. Or like, do they speak about women in a certain way? How do they speak yeah. about themselves? Like, I'm very much, you know, I did a lot of confidence coaching during the pandemic. I feel like why we're all and here is to help one another. 100%. And like, look. And feel their best self. 100%. And hopefully get fucked. But anyway, so <laughs> another thing that I think is like something that I learned and I really work for myself is like, you can't speak badly about yourself. Like, ever. You literally decide who you are. So on a date, I really pay attention to how he talks about himself how he talks about other people. Like, that's really what the whole point is, right? Is a conversation. Right. And I think you can really look out for things like that. Okay, speaking of conversation, you actually have cards. Oh my God, yeah. So and if the if the date is going really fucking bad and you're feeling fucking nervous, okay? I invented something for you. I am dying to look at these cards okay, because great. I feel, even if the date has great conversation, this is such a good way to like, bring out deep things. And I love getting deep on a fir like first date or n with anyone. I'm telling you. I'm like an open book. And I love when someone else can get deep and like no, no, no. It's, know themselves. And I wanted to make a game. It's really, you know, it's really a conversation starter, right? Like a icebreaker that's disguised as a game, but really like that's what it is. But like, I think it's like, I wanted someone to like pull it out and not feel weird about putting right. that out. Like I right. wanted, it looks like kind of like a cigarette pack. Like it's cool. Oh, like, it does. Uh, it. Look like, at that branding. So it's basically split. And I have three of these games, three different ones. We're going to do date tonight. It has four bases. First base, second base, third base, home fucking run. Yes. As the bases get higher, the questions get hotter. Okay, here we go. First base, compliment yourself, queen. Oh, I love this. Very it's important. Compliment myself. Feeling good. Looking in the mirror, compliment myself. So be like, you are. Oh. That's your best friend. Don't make me emotional. Oh, I do this that. Is, do you get emotional when you do this sometimes? Yeah, of course. Okay. You are exactly where you need to be and your 17-year-old self would shit their pants with where you are today. It was so good. And it's really good that you did eye contact. Yeah. That's like one of the most important things. Oh. Well, I, that, I honestly, if you think about it sometimes, would you like look back and your teenage self would just be so proud of you? Yeah, I mean, it's I feel like, like I became the girl that my teenage self wanted really badly same. and didn't have. I was so insecure and it was like yeah. so sad. And I honestly just want to like go back to my teenage self and, and give her a hug. hug. Same. Like so bad. We are right now. So Listen, bad. Listen, bitch, fucking love you. <laughs> Next. Okay, what would your ex say about you? This is the <laughs> My ex, oh yeah. Though okay, so I dated a guy for five years. Okay. He cheated on me. Oh god. So much. He's a basketball player. He cheated on me all the time. I didn't know until after we broke up, right? I wanted people to know. He cheated on me after five years and like with five probably more different women. And so mm -hmm. honestly, I felt the need to tell people that. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like he'd be like, oh, that girl is so Well, I mean, that would be a gaslight. He gaslighted me in my entire relationship. Okay, well, yeah. we're glad that that's over. Yeah. When's the last time you had sex? Oh, I haven't seen my boyfriend in a really long time. Like six days ago, a really long time. Exactly a week ago. Okay, mine was in, no, sorry, mine was in April. Okay, it's May, so. I realize now that sex means something different for every single person. Mm -hmm. And if one night stands weren't for me, I can't be sad about that. 100%. I also think, you know, like sex is obviously like a very taboo topic still. And I think like part of the reason totally. we've been taught to just feel ashamed about being open about sex. Like people think that I'm like so work. fucking vulgar and like out there. And I'm like, I'm not doing anything that different than what men do all the time. I could not agree more. As long as you're clean, as long as you're safe, as long as you're, there's consent and like you just, you're, you feel good and you're doing it for the reasons yeah. of like pleasure and fun and not like, you know, trying to fill a void or like that I think is like, do what you totally. want. Like, Imagine being on a date with someone and being like, what was your first impression of me? Also, these cards um, are really great if you don't know if you like someone. That would, and then they answer and they're like, you're like, ew. Like, and then it's great to know. Like, what is your first impression of me? Of you. Yeah. Oh, that you walk in a ball of fire and you're exactly who you are on social media, which honestly, if you're an influencer, you know that's the biggest fucking compliment. You know what I mean? Like you're exactly who you are. You're stunning, you're sweet, 
and you have great advice. You're so sweet. You have amazing advice. Like you're, you're actually best. giving like real takeaways here. I feel like my first impression of you is obviously you're stunning and a, just great energy, but also like I feel like I've known you my entire life and I'm Same sure that's what your you. audience feels yeah. about you too. <laughs> I love this difference. Can you tell where we're from? Can you tell she's the East Coast, I'm the West Coast? It's a little like this is a it's a look. I mean, I don't know. This is a little okay. Baby I actually think, think if I kept it kind of like this, it's fine. It's don't, casual. It's the donks. I think if you do it without a heel, then totally. Like, this is like a full on revolve. You're like, like stepping it up a notch with this, right? Like it's fun. It's like flirty. It's yeah. Like, show me. I love it. Show okay, what do you think about my outfit? Is it? I think this is first LA, date, girl. Like, is this like? I'll put air on later. Let's cut it. Last okay. minute. You're okay. out the door. You're I rushing swear, to your oh, date. I'm, I'm a very punctual person, by the way. I don't like making people wait. Maybe yeah. I let them sit down first. I give them maybe like the five minute mark. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should cancel an hour and a half before. I don't think you should show up drunk. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> <laughs> that most scary time is that like five minutes right before you meet them. And then when you meet them, it's over. Yeah, I swear by Agreed. the scent. Not sponsored, but hey, it's, it's empty. So I'd love. I love a refill love it. if the brand wants to. <laughs> uh, this is Baccarat Rouge. What I like about it, it doesn't, do you want to Yeah. Am I gonna make oh, this? Wow. It's really good. What I love about it is that it stays on forever. Ooh. Like it doesn't like go, like I feel like all my other perfumes just like It's not too evaporate. overpowering. I feel like you do not want to have a massive scent when you walk in. Am I wrong? <laughs> no, you're, no, you're right. <laughs> it has to be a good scent, but no, you're right. Like imagine. I love when a guy like wears cologne. I think that's like really Yeah, it's hot, but not too strong. If you can smell right. him as right. he walks the door, absolutely right. not. Right, absolutely not. And bad breath, make sure you brush your teeth no, no, before no. the date. Without even a doubt in my no mind. No doubt. So then, oh, Always in my bag, I always bring like a lip gloss, always. I love the ones from Pat McGrath. Ooh. Love a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk, always. Love pillow talk. And the liners, really good pillow talk, Charlotte Tilbury, but the, the Pat McGrath is really good. I also really swear by this powder. It's Ooh. from Givenchy, it's called Prism Libre. Do you pack that in your purse? Or no, no, I don't actually, okay. I do this before I leave. And then what I pack in my purse is I usually have a matte compact, but I was drunk and I lost it. So this is another really great one. It's a Charlotte Tilbury, but I always Ooh. keep something like this with a brush. I love this right here because for me, I actually don't get flushed, I lose my color. Okay. And so I love just like a little to go blush. Plus this doubles as lip. Oh, and wow. your uh, oh, cheeks good. too. And then what I love about it, so you don't have to pack a brush because a brush in the bottom of your purse gets nasty. It just has this so other that side here. Looking really good either. <laughs> But that's okay. That's I'm like, okay. no very cleanly. I'm not as cleanly as Serena's coochie, but you know, it, you know what? It works. Here's my tip about blush. Yeah, is, what's your hack? Okay. I like to look sun-kissed, right? Like I just got I'm back like, from the beach. It's giving. It's giving. So a little bit of blush on your nose, a little on the top of your forehead, and make sure the blush comes up through your cheeks and a tiny bit on the chin. So when you were, the sun is right here, you are getting that sun naturally. And mm -hmm. it's a little bit on the tip of your nose and a little bit in the inside of your cheeks. Right. I just look like I came out of the 5 a.m. club and going straight <laughs> to the office. Literally like <laughs> conference in the morning, <laughs> rave at night. This is another dating hack, really good hack. Mm, mm. Whenever you're visiting a place, go on a date. Because all those nerves that you're feeling get immediately subside because at the end of the day, like you're going back home. Mm -hmm. the, the, the energy of like, I'm not gonna commit to this person is actually 100%. so, makes it, the date go so much better. And no, you might well. have a boo in that place, that state, or maybe you'll end up you know, finding the level of your life, or you'll learn something about yourself. And there's no pressure. There's, there's no, no pressure. pressure. I have the best nights of my life when I'm in a different city and I know I don't know one person, so I can be whoever, whoever you are. I want to be. I think the biggest hack of all is do not start dating until you've dated yourself. And I really do mean look at yourself in the mirror every fucking time you see yourself in the mirror, the reflection. Really like have that conversation with yourself. I do yeah. it all the time. Like that person's your best friend. Like mm -hmm. she's been with you your whole fucking life. Mm -hmm. So the same way that like you were hyping me up before and I would hype you up and you would hype anyone in your life up and nurture them and love them and respect anyone Ooh, in your life, best right? Best friend, sister. You, we don't do it to ourselves because if we do it to ourselves then we're narcissistic, we're vain. Really look at yourself in the eye. Give that same love that you give to everyone in your life to yourself. If you go on a bad date, you go to the mirror and go, Whatever, it was a bad date, right. but I learned that's not the guy that I want. He's not for me. He wasn't obsessed with me. Next, done. Right? I got totally. ghosted. Fuck that. What would you say to your best friend? Like, got ghosted. Be like, fuck that guy. 100%. And also, going back to what you said, make sure you're dating yourself before you date other people. I have so dated important. so many toxic men because I didn't know who I was. And yeah. I, I wasn't happy with subtle. just being myself. And so finally, when I was single for like two years and I like fully knew who I was and what I wanted, and finding out what you don't like is just as important as finding out what, what you I'm do. That's what I'm saying. Like, literally, it's so important. Are you right. Kidding? So, 
At the same time, I finally fell in love with someone and I attracted a better man because I was a better person. It's not even, a, a, no doubt in my mind, I also think that like at the end of the day, because it's just you, right? You're stuck with you, your whole life, it's just you. You need to really truly find validation from within. And I think that mm -hmm. we're taught as little girls with Cinderella and all the movies, and it's like once you find Prince Charming, you're good, you're yeah, happy. Yeah. And I think that's so toxic. And what I'm trying to do with my audience and my brand is be like, no, 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 no. You complete yourself. And once you really do feel that validation from within, then everything's an additive. Mm -hmm. So then you can find the guy that's amazing because you're like, I'm so happy that you better be a fucking 11 out of 10. Absolutely. And if you're not, then like, it's okay. You like, don't need next. it. Also, it's not two halves, it's two holes coming together. Totally agree. Even if you're on a date and you see yourself in the reflection of the and glass, you're like, you're like Look at yourself. hey bitch, you're fucking hot. Oh my God, I love that. Maybe don't do that like all <laughs> well, You can back it up. You can, <laughs> you can imagine. I mean, I would, would so but I, you just gave it like a little <laughs> wink wink. Well, yeah. on that note, now that I feel emotional, let's go on our date. Let's are, go on our date. Are you ready? Date. I'm all right. born ready. We drink too much. Yeah, maybe I just start drinking. Oh, can't forget the condom, baby. Can't forget the game either. Let's go.